Okay, so now you're in the police station. I want us to dial 911 because I don't like you here. The environment, the people. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure what you guys are doing is legal. My job as a public servant is to ask you if you would need assistance or if there's any questions I can ask for or answer for you. Hey, don't film us. Appreciate you pointing them out. Actually, I think she's getting one right now. It's making them uncomfortable. Who the hell are you? I'm, I'm not against it. I'm just curious because yeah. you're going to videotape me coming in and out. And everything I say, I think about it. I'm gonna need you to turn that off though. They're in a public place and they're allowed to film. That's my job, is to offer my assistance. Don't trust any of them. I'm an old lady and I'm scared. At the end of the day, it's all just perception. It's it's your perception, it's my perception, it's his perception. We're all gonna perceive things very different, aren't we? Right. We weren't even in the room and she was already accosting us. We make it happen. Let's do it. Are you scared? Uh-huh. If you really thought we were gonna rob the bank, would you, a young woman such as yourself, walk all the way over here to confront us about it? Oh, okay, condescending. Right. We'll use your word. You can't record inside our stores. Why are you filming me? Yeah, because they're recording your personal information. Oh, okay. Welcome to Impact Media, where we explore the captivating world of public filming, exposing a society immersed in cameras and ignorance. Join us for a thrilling ride as we enlighten, entertain, and make you facepalm at the astonishing lack of privacy awareness. We relentlessly remind people they are under constant surveillance, and any desired privacy must be self-created. Experience the natural reactions of unsuspecting individuals to public filming. Laugh, question, and brace yourself for eye-opening and mind-boggling moments that make you wonder, did that really just happen? Gain knowledge about your rights and freedoms in a tech-driven world where even your coffee cup could be spying on you. Welcome to a channel that exposes absurdities, one camera at a time. At Impact Media, we disseminate all our interactions for public consumption of our educational media. Every captured interaction, whether humorous, thought-provoking, or educational, is made available to the public. We believe in spreading awareness and knowledge, ensuring our content reaches as many people as possible, and you can help by liking this video now. Through sharing our encounters, we engage Engage and educate a wide audience, empowering individuals to navigate the complexities of a tech-filled society while keeping our rights in mind. Remember, your support is crucial in amplifying our message. Don't forget to take a second and like our videos so the YouTube algorithm bots can share them far and wide. Together, let's make a powerful impact. Alright guys, we are here in Orange County before we get started right here. This happened. Thankfully, we're not involved. Damn. And that car is stuck right there, blocking traffic. So there's a fireman over there tried to give me a demand on where I'm allowed to stand. I asked him if he's a cop. He said no. I was like, okay, thank you. Good morning, guys. We are up here in Orange County doing some public street audits today here in Orange County. Welcome aboard, guys. Lizard Media, Simple's around here somewhere. 
we are walking to our first destination definitely get my steps in doing this lately um actually feeling a lot healthier that's good and we'll see you guys soon nick did you grab radio yeah i'm waiting to get out of the car Alright, just meet us over here on the Starbucks on the sidewalk. Alright guys, they definitely noticed us pretty quick here. Um, almost immediately. And there's even some patrons that are on the other side of the counter in there looking. Um, so we'll see what happens. Here comes Simple Media. Are they working here or are they just customers? Is it they're coming to approach us? Hi there. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Doing all right. Good. Um, I was just wondering why you're filming my employees at the window. Um, we're not going to disclose that right now. It's making them uncomfortable. What's that? It's making them uncomfortable. Hey, there's nothing I can do about their feelings. If they're uncomfortable, that sounds like a personal issue that they're going through. You can't record inside our store, so you can't record. So, we're not so hold on, but hold on. But who, who told you that? Who told you you can't record inside from out here? You shouldn't be recording people without their permission. Okay, so that's false. It's not, I can lawfully do this. I can also, you can't trespass the eyes. So if I can see inside the store from here, I can also film inside the store from here so I'm gonna keep doing it we're not going anywhere we're doing an investigation on your store They don't have that choice. I'm here to do a job. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna complete my job. I'm here to investigate this location, so. The, the Starbucks location? Yes. Interesting. Okay. All right. So I'd recommend if they don't wanna be on camera, they shouldn't be in the window. Because I'm gonna film all of them. I'm gonna film all of the customers. Me instead of them? Uh, I might, but they're gonna go ahead and face back that direction. You guys can record me. You are very, very beautiful, so. Go ahead and record. They say they don't want to want to be recorded, but they're recording us. Yeah, see? Woohoo! So they gave us a cam bag, so they're allowed to record us, though. So he did. So while asking us not to do something, you let them record us from private. So that's different. We're doing something from public. Okay. All right. All right. Well, they don't have to stop. I don't mind my picture getting taken. I have my best face on today. Probably her store manager or district manager, someone of the sort. Guys, just so you know, she came a hell of far away to come out and talk to us. We are nowhere near her location. We are on the sidewalk. Now we are on the front edge. Anytime there's a main street right here where the traffic's flying by, so. So I do have to give the worker props here today. Absolutely have to, because she said that she thought that Yes, what we are doing is disrespectful. But when her employee did it, she she also said, well, I'm gonna go talk to him because I think that's also disrespectful. That is the first time I've seen a Karen come back 
and say something like that and use it in both directions. Normally they'll say, oh, it's disrespectful, blah, blah, while well, they're all doing comebacks. Like, oh no, they're just doing it for their safety. So props to the, to the workers that came out and talked to us based on that part of the conversation. Also, I have my uh, new shirt here today. God prefers kind atheists over hateful Christians. Very true. So we're getting a cam back from, from them. She was cam backing us while not wanting to be filmed. Guys, this car has been here for like 10 minutes. The line is backing up and they've all just been sitting there for like 10 minutes waiting for whatever complicated drink this person ordered. Because if they're on the sidewalk, it's public property, so we can't do anything about it. Yeah. But everyone has a right to do what they want to do. Yeah. Yeah. It's human decency. It's a hotel theater, not really yeah. comfortable to leave. Like, like, yeah. But I mean, it is what it is. We're going to make the drink. So we're going to get back here. Okay. Get through the bus. So guys, I sent my kids here to see if they closed the drive-thru because nobody else is driving through. They closed the drive-thru. That's a very strange response. <laughs> so tell me what they did. They put a sign up in the middle of the drive-thru entrance. <laughs> so. That guy gave us a high five. So nobody can close the So they closed the drive-thru? Yep. Nice, nice. All right, well, that's a different response, but very yeah. smart, very smart for them. The Minus the fact that they're going to lose some business. That's oh, yeah. kind of not the smart part for them. You got spray? What's up? What's up? Huh? Oh, we're just taking video of the uh, hey, you know, area. The fucking managers and the, uh, all of them, they said they're fucking going to close down drive you because of you guys. Uh huh. Coach is right there. And it's fucking just sad that they had, we're, we're actually not protesting. Drive, we're not protesting. We're investigating. Know, we're investigating. We're investigating their store. Shit. I really don't care. All right. It's none of my business. Yeah. I just think you guys know I'm trying to help you. They just close down drive through. Yeah. You know, the cars going through drive through. They close it down, bro. No, I already know. And you know why? Because of you guys. That's fine. That's so, their decision. They really want you to go. We're not yeah. going to leave anywhere. We're investigating yeah. their store. Well, we get paid they, to be here. That's fine. They can so call the cops, and the cops will tell them to leave us alone. So we, the cops already know we're here. I'll be doing the rest. No, they won't. They they can't. So the cops already know we're here. So they won't. They can't. What do you guys? What do you guys hear? What do you guys hear? Well, we can't share that because the reason we're undercover investigating is you know we can't. Yeah, why are you guys wearing masks? Like, That's part of being undercover investigating. What is there to hide? Huh? What is there to hide? It's not hiding anything. But we're gonna disengage now. We have to go get but back to our not, job. You know, we're COVID, you know, like, yeah. Hey, but we're gonna disengage because we have to get back to work. Talk in uh -huh. a mask. You think that you can't fucking like you wouldn't know who's talking when they were saying something because they uh -huh. have mask on. But it's like you know when they're talking to you, you know you can't see their lips moving because you got a mask on. You know because you know what? It's all in the eyes. Yeah, it is. You're true. You're right they there. They're talking to you and you can't fucking see their lips moving. And think that you don't know it's them, but you know all right. because they're just looking straight at you when they're doing it. But anyways, we have to get back to work. I can't yeah. engage with this all day. So we have to get back to work. Well, I'm not holding your head. All right, just making sure. We're good. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, guys. You guys got that? What's that? You guys got that? Got what? Recorded that? Recorded what? Everything I said? Yeah. Okay. You're good. I mean, fucking... You guys fucking look at it later. Okay? Play the tape. Later on, 
the other day, later on tonight, and everything I say, I think about it. Huh? You have a good day, buddy. Hey, but be uh, safe. Good, 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 good. Okay. The point is, just guys, be okay. aware of your we're done. Bro. Pay attention. All right, guys. Anyways, Nick, go back. Cool. Not everybody's gonna be cool with that shit, bro. What's that? Not everybody's gonna be cool with that. With what? Not everybody likes that. They don't have a choice. It's, with, it's uh, in public. Yeah, they have a choice. Okay. Cause guess what? The city, the environment, the people, mm -hmm. fucking say have 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 a, have a right to say so. Yeah. And it's always the majority. If the majority more say no than yeah. The more say yeah than no, yeah. it's gonna be that way. Whatever the majority Regardless, is. but it is a publicly accessible area. So we're allowed to do what we're doing. We're doing an investigation on yeah, these you guys, stores. You guys are on yeah. the sidewalk. Uh, actually, so we can actually be in there too because they put a police station right there. Yeah. So because they put a police station right here, this becomes uh, state access property. Oh, I know that's fucking one of the fucking subdivisions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But because yeah, they put that. that, but because they put that in there. But well, doesn't mean that they're there. But that's there that they know what the fuck you guys are doing. They might not even know. No, no. That you guys are no, out no. here. The police they know might not that even we're here. Know it. You guys yeah. are out here right now. The they police know we're know. here. They might not even know that yeah. you're out here right now. They, they do might know. Not even know. They do know. But they might go fucking over here. Them that work there go in there and fucking let them know. They might yeah. go out here about three or four fucking officers and maybe uh, I don't know. But I hope there's not. nothing the cops can do. Tell you guys they can't. Why would they it's public property and so is this they parking lot. They can say you need to go here. You're loitering. But if you're with a purpose, they can't say you're loitering. Course, Did you know I'm that? I'm waiting for my drink and my sandwich. Am I gonna be famous? No, not quite, but <laughs> but hey, you have a good day, man. You have a blessed day. Have a nice day. Like I like your hoodie. Just be safe. Yep, I like your hoodie, brother. Like yeah. <laughs> hey, be safe, man. So I had to disengage with him. Um, he was obviously uh, like day two of a bender um, with some meth and that conversation is just gonna be circle, 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 circle. No interest in doing that. Uh, hopefully he recovers and you know gets healthier at some point. Obviously that's not gonna be right now. Um, you know, when you're an addict, you have to make that decision to get healthy. Um, that's why I'm not going to clown on him or anything like that. Um, you know, addiction is absolutely a struggle. And, you know, I myself have never gone through it, but I've had some friends that are really close to me that have gone through it. And some of them recovered and some of them never did. Um, and it's just, it's one of those things, man. It, it's, you know, if one person can watch this video and decide, you know what, I'm not going to go down that path, that's perfect. Um, so, you know, just, just be mindful of what you put in your body, guys. You know, it, it's some of those, some of those drugs don't have an exit that's easily found. So, so today, guys, here in Orange County, we've actually got a lot of honks and waves from people driving by. Um, obviously, you know, Santa Ana, obviously where we are at is not considered like the higher class area and this is where the police and security and anybody who thinks they have authority tend to violate or try to violate people's rights even more um, because you know a lot of people don't know their rights in this area but yeah guys you gotta know your rights man and it's important that you know that you do so you know what they can and cannot do um so apparently they have <laughs> in the back of this. You've got a back door that says massage. You're not only doing massages in there. Sheesh. This worker out here is really confused. So the bank employees are all starting to gather right there. Wait, did they close? Damn, the bank closed down because we're here, what the hell?
came back at us inside. Yep, they closed down the bank. This is a huge city bank, guys. And we just shut down the building. And we are all staying over here. And we are all super respectful. He's texting somebody. Police got here quick, guys. We've been here for like three minutes. No, we've been here closer to like seven minutes or eight minutes, but uh, we've been here under 10 minutes, guys, and the police are already on site. The Fountain Valley Police Department is on site and can't park for shit. Sergeant, let's see how she behaves. Public servant is okay. to ask people if they would like assistance or if there's right. anything. Well, I can I, if I needed assistance, I feel like I would have called you guys. Okay. Can I get a name and badge? Sure. It's Pratt and I'm ID number 249. All right. So, again, my, my job as a public servant is to ask you if you would need assistance or if there's any questions I can ask for or answer for you for our fine city. Well, I and mean, you if don't, you don't need assistance, so, there's nothing I can offer for you. Okay. So, why are you here? Can I ask you that? Because I work for the city of Fountain Valley, and that's my job is to offer my assistance. To random people on the sidewalk? Absolutely. So, you weren't called here? I don't need to be called. I work for the city of Fountain okay. Valley. So, you weren't called here. You don't have a cat ID or anything to I, give me? Again, we've answered this question three times. Hey. So, you obviously don't need my assistance. You guys don't have any questions, there's nothing I can offer for you. I was just trying to Officer. clarify whether or not you were called here. And, obviously you and I said no. I was offering my assistance Officer. as a citizen or a service. No, there's no. What, sorry, what? Think, what makes you think they need help? I didn't say they needed help. I was well, offering my assistance. What makes you think they need assistance? Again, I never said they needed it. I was offering it. The video offer? taping. So, in all my years of... Okay, all, you have a great day, in sir. In all my years of doing this, I've never had a cop walk up and ask me that randomly. I, I don't believe that that's true, but you have a great day. All right. Damn, what a snarky little... <laughs> she was like, you guys need assistance. You guys said no one was going to fall. I'm going to take it out.
Guys, this has got to be a record for the amount of time it took to shut a business down without even trying. Like, this is not our intent. We never have an intention to be like, hey, we're going to shut down this business. That makes no sense. Um, kind of weird that they did shut down, though. <laughs> they already noticed we're here. What's that? God prefers kind atheists sober hateful. God is love. Hallelujah. <laughs> Just taking some video. I'm sorry? I'm not gonna yell it. I'm not gonna yell it. I don't wanna yell back and forth. What are you guys doing? We're just taking some video, ma'am. What's that? For what reason? I'm just curious because yeah. you're going to videotape me coming in and out. So I'm just curious what it's for. We're just taking some video, ma'am. We can't disclose what we're doing. Okay. Smoking a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> She's just taking some video. No. Or someone gonna come out famous from in there? Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift? She's in there. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. She's not. I just pulled this out. Oh, I thought you guys were with the We Make It Happen the Cook Solution. I have no idea what that is. Wait, what? Where, where'd you come from? The bank. Oh, which one? Bank of America. You guys were over there. Yeah. You're a branch manager or something? Yes. Oh, nice to meet you. You came an awful long way. Yeah, so, yeah just to make sure what you guys are doing is legal. <laughs> it is legal. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, make sure you're not trying to rob the bank. If you, hold on, hold on. Wow. Let's be honest. If you really thought we were going to rob the bank, would you, a young woman such as yourself, walk all the way over here to confront us about it? Tell you about a bank. No. I mean, logically. No, I'm just wondering, you know, the, the police station right there, too. I know. Oh, yeah. That's oh, fine. Really? Yeah. What we are doing, no, I'm, no, I'm just, just so you understand. No, it's because, of, like, a few customers came to me. It's like, can you go check it out? Like, so, you know, just so here. you understand, public filming is lawful. We're right. allowed to do it anywhere that we want technically even on private property until somebody asks us to leave okay just so you understand this is because you guys wearing masks and hat and hoodie you know i just pointed i just pointed out a video on video right now a gentleman came out with a cap on and a mask and nobody accosted him from wearing a mask while walking into the bank actually so oh yeah so just take a picture what was your name victoria victoria thank you for being so friendly I find, like, oh, you're good. You're good. You've been professional. Thank you. I got to get this lady's license plate now. All right, guys, we got the license plate. Perfect.
Dude, that branch manager came hella far to confront us and ask us if we were going to rob the place. That's the weirdest. <laughs> like, bro, way, that little building way over there. We're nowhere near it anymore. And she jaywalked across the street to come confront us about it. But at least she was friendly. You got to give her that. <laughs> we're at the uh, Fountain Valley School District, guys. Put in your public records request. I don't know, I'm not sure actually. It's not through you? No, it's not through me. Can you find out who that would be through so I could submit one? Sure, yeah. Appreciate it. Wow, look at this. They got like an outdoor. That's kind of cool. What was your name? Allie. Allie. Yes. Perfect. Is, did you have a card here? I don't know. Uh, they didn't give you one? Damn. <laughs> hey, Carmen, it's Allie. Hey, um, I have some gentlemen here that were requesting information on who they can make a public... Records request? Public records request, too. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, here I send somebody down. Perfect. Okay. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. This is one of the nicer district offices I've seen. Oh, really? <laughs> it's kind of dark in here, but I bet it makes it easier for you, though. Yeah. I hate that bright office lighting. So, um, how much, I mean, I, I see that all this is public access, but how much of upstairs is public accessible? Mm, that I'm not sure of because I believe those are rented out suites by, by private companies. Oh, okay. So I don't, well, it depends on how it's arranged. Yeah. So if there's no key cards or posted signs, then technically we can go anywhere because okay. it is a public building. Oh, yeah, I understand. What you're saying. Yeah, because yeah. once they slap school district on the side of it, they'll. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Um, we just can't go into office, private offices and things like that. Yeah, so. I understand. There's one on the other side of the personnel department, the door. Oh, you have to put a sign right here. Oh, thank you. Yeah, if you put yeah. if you put no public access or something yeah. like that, then yeah. But if you leave the door yeah. open, I thought sure. it was open. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, the public could come in here. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate you right. let us so know. So, where's the sign? Uh, she actually, I think she's getting one right now. She's going to have it on there. There's a sign on the personnel door back here. That's what does our it other say? Personnel department. Let's you check it out. Yeah, you can go look. Okay, because it's, it's weird if you have one there but not here, then it yeah, I, assumes you're, this is public access. Yeah. So, because anything not public access has to be clearly identified, just for the record. Yeah, thank so, you. So appreciate that's exactly that. why we're here. Sure. So, you know, I'll point these things out for you. Okay, well, we appreciate it. Appreciate you pointing them out. Yeah. All right. All right. You guys have a great day. Are you going to close that door now since it's... Uh, off actually, limits? I'm going to wait for our director okay. to come out. No, I, I like to leave it open so that right. Allie's not sitting out here by herself. All right. But thank you. No, no problem. So you guys leave it open often. Yeah, a sign yeah. would be great right there. Okay, yeah. perfect. Appreciate or, that. Or a rope yes. or anything. And uh, you're a public employee here? I am. Awesome. What's yeah. your position? I'm the assistant superintendent. And your name? My name's Kathy Abdel. It's Perfect. Right, right around the corner. Oh, I got a picture. Oh, you're on the board. I'm on the board. You're on the board. Okay, nice, nice. All right, you guys have that a great day. That must be a, a fun weekend. experience. Do you get have to make weekend. big decisions? Yeah, have a good weekend. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. That's your big decision right now? You tell me to have a good weekend? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he wandered in there because it, it, it doesn't say off limits. There's no, uh, you know. I, I just went in there. So anything open. anything open, you're allowed to go in unless there's signage that clearly states public not welcome. So, or employees only. Out of respect, out of respect for the other so they have two doors to the same office, but only one of them is marked. One of the doors says it's a non-public area. Recording is not permitted beyond this point. Yeah, they got to put that sign over there. Oh, shit. 
that's actually good though because it tells you recordings allowed here which means they know oh, yeah. so i got to give them props for this building whoever runs this building knows what we're allowed to do here that's good Reminding us to make sure that this is out here for no, us. No, you're good, you're good. Yes, thank you. Appreciate it. No, you're good, you're good. So, recording not permitted beyond this point. I'm not so, going to shut the door. So, we're not. If you like me, I could, I could actually put it on the other side and just shut it and. Yeah, just so, I mean, so you're aware, sure. you can't trespass the eyes. So, if you leave it open, I can actually record anything I can see with my eyes. Okay. So, if you close it, then yeah, that'd be the right thing to do if you're trying to keep it secure, but. Um, otherwise, if it's open, I can film through the door. I just can't go into the door and film. Okay. So. Great. I appreciate that as well. Is there anything else that we can help you guys with? I'm still waiting on a public records information. For what did, what did you request? So she's actually, she located a person that's going to come down and bring me either the public records request in, uh, form or somebody that knows how to deal with that process here. Are in you asking building. for, what are you asking for CPRA? Uh, the public records request form for FOIA. Um, so we're trying to get, uh, I want a list of all the employees in the building, um, as well as salaries and titles and positions and stuff. Yeah, if you send an email... You are absolutely, all you do is so send an email? So here's the thing, yes on that. A lot of people say, oh, you can do it online now. So that's not the only way you can submit. So you are supposed to, by law, be able to submit FOIA in person, in writing. Yep, okay. if you want a piece of paper and you can just write it down. Absolutely, however can, it needs to be you done. You can do that as well. Let me get you a piece of paper. You can write what your request And you have somebody that will stamp it in? We'll time stamp it? Perfect. That's what I need, ma'am. You can just do it. And Lovely. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> hey, Nick. Come over here. You gotta hold my. Sh you gotta hold my stick. Right there, so I can see it. All right. And then if I can get um, the timestamp here with the name of whoever's receiving it. Yeah, I'll take the copy. Okay. And then I'll give you my email so you'll right. see where it's coming from. If I have any questions, I'll reach out to you. So. Oh, is this the original? Am I right? Oh, you're in. Sorry, you're right. The original. <laughs> my hair, I'm going to switch it. My fault. <laughs> All right. Okay. So this All is right. the this is the copy? Perfect. That's, that's right. the original. Okay, that's fine. but okay. That's fine. They look the same. Yes. <laughs> Is there anything else we can help you guys with? Not at the moment. I'm just going to stick around and film for a little bit and um, we'll go from there. Beautiful glass elevator yeah, that you paid for. You also paid for all this glass block. This shit's not cheap. Yeah. All right, guys, we are at the Fountain Valley Police Station. I think it's time to update the sticker. All right. Oh, wow.
YouTube videos of person. Oh, Jesus, hold so on. So I guess we are suspicious. Uh, so really? This right here is why people freak out on that. The police wow. tell them to. <laughs> don't back up, don't back up. Oh, sorry. If police tell them to freak out on this. It's Photograph, prolonged interest in taking pictures, videos of personnel, city security cameras, interest. Jeez. So if you're just out taking pictures, apparently you want to rob something. So that's an epic use of say, see something, say something right there. I called it. It's propaganda at its finest. It's a see something, say something poster. <laughs> that's what that is. <laughs> that's great. So the see something, say something posters, marketing, those campaigns literally made everybody suspicious of everybody. You haven't been offered any help either. I know. <laughs> Yeah, we're not members of the public, apparently. We don't deserve conversation. I think he read that post. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna shut up and uh, address him. But this is typical of the Fountain Valley police, anyways, so far. We had that one lady come and she got mad that we were asking her questions back. Yeah. The <laughs> she left. Got yeah. mad that we were asking questions. And then this guy hasn't even acknowledged our existence, offered us any help, nothing. I, sh I shouldn't be able to do this. Zoom in on something. I do yeah, Miss, can you come out and help us? Because we need some help. Yeah, what was your name? It's a cadet concert. What is it? Concert. Concert? How do you say? Kong. Kong. Kong? Yeah. Just Kong? Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. I thought you added the sir on there. I thought, okay. And you got a badge number 1108, it looks like, and you're a cadet? Yeah. So the cadets typically run the front desk? Um, yes. Okay. Is there a reason you ignored us for so long, or...? Okay, you didn't see us? Like, I mean, I was... Okay, my all right. Things, all right. All right, I was just curious. All right, that's... We just want you to be a little more curious, you know, say hi. Hey, how's it going, guys? Yeah. It just says right here, it just says, respect oh. everyone, be kind. It's your code of conduct, I believe. Thank you, Cadet. Or next time a wave, even. Was it? Cadet. Um, Kong. 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 It'll go a long way in your career. He's actually, that's actually really bad. The fact that he's learning to behave that way and he's not even an officer yet is really bad. Yeah. I think he can so, use a... When you already have hatred for the public and you haven't even become a full-fledged police officer yet, that's actually dangerous. Yeah, I think you should work at Chipotle before he works the front desk at <laughs> a police station. The statement already, so. The city of Fountain Valley is a team-driven organization committed to providing excellent service to our community. And we are members of the public that it says right there that they're supposed to provide excellent service. It's in their mission statement, the mission statement of the police department. <laughs> Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, so now you're in the police station. Is there something that you needed? Yeah, I actually came to file a complaint on you. Okay, I can give you the complaint form. Yeah. All right, well, I, I also wanted to talk to a supervisor. Okay, right now that's me. That's you? So I can give All you right. the phone number for a supervisor. All right. He's not available right now. Well, can I get his information? Absolutely. All right, and the form. Is there anything else that you needed other than the form and the lieutenant's name? Not at the moment. Okay, I'm gonna need you to turn that off though because you're inside the police department. You're wrong, you're actually wrong. In public areas, we're allowed to film. Okay. okay.
and public areas were allowed to film. Okay. Well, we'll come back to that. You're the sergeant? It's a public lobby. <laughs> Just our luck to get them. <laughs> Just our luck. Ma'am, we haven't yeah, recorded. That's, that's, that's false information. Ma'am. What the heck? That's ridiculous. Well, office. that's being added to the complaint. This supervisor, whatever she is. That's being oh, added man. to the complaint for sure. She's rude. So that was a complaint, but she fire started a patron telling him that we were recording her personal information. So that's actually a, their code of conduct here for this police department. Like she's violated it twice now. So Just yeah. That's the police officer. They were there to get her personal information. We're already here. Go out on the door and see if there's any we're signs out there store. that say no we're filming. I just want to double check. We need multiple. Did you bring enough forms for all of us? Do you all need a form? Yeah, we're filing separate oh, complaints. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wonderful. What would possess you to lie about someone like that? I'm sorry? What would possess you to lie that we're collecting personal information? And what makes you think that I'm lying? Yeah, because you are. Why would you accuse us of collecting personal information? Because you're recording this woman who's making a complaint and she's giving her personal information okay. and you're recording that. And you're scared her. Uh-huh. But that's because not. You're intimidating wait, how? Are, you wait, are hold on, hold on. She was nothing but friendly. We were friendly to her back. How was she intimidated? Did yeah, she tell she, you she was she intimidated because she was nice to us? Okay. So again, here is the lieutenant's okay, complaint to Mike Parsons. This is one of the complaint forms. Right. I will get three more. Yeah. Wow. So she told us that she's intimidated. She's speaking for her. She actually admitted to intimidating someone else. Yeah. Are you saying behavior? She admitted to scaring her. Ma'am, the last time I had this conversation with some higher ups regarding a sergeant giving us lip like this, it didn't go well for the sergeant. Okay. So, like, you're being really rude to us. This is one of the rudest sergeants, I think. You, know. you are a civil servant. You shouldn't be acting. I am. I did service. offer you my services. You said you didn't need anything, and you guys basically dismissed I'm saying dismissed you shouldn't be lying about the public, ma'am. I'm not lying about the well, public. Well, hold on. You I'm but you. you are, we're all going to talk to me at once, or I get no, to talk? Okay, hey, so here's the thing. Mm -hmm. You were asking us questions, which I answered over there. No, you didn't. I did. You said, do I need your help? I said, no, that's the question. That's an answer. How's that not an answer? Okay. Okay, so, and it's all on video. We didn't get one. And then the second, the second that I started to ask a question, you decided conversation over and walked away. It's all on video. No, you kept asking me if there was a cat call. Yes. Correct? Yes. Okay, and I said, no, there was no cat right. call. But then why were you over there in the first place if you weren't called over there? I explained that to you. What did I say? You just said, oh, you just came by to talk to us. But what made you come by and talk to us? What was my answer to that question? I don't know. I have to review it on the video. But it wasn't, you know, like you were called there, obviously. I was not called okay. there. And I explained that multiple times. She said mm -hmm. uh, she thought you needed help. No, I did not say that. Well, that's I what you came up. My assistance. But that's what she came up. Yes. And why did I say that? Why did you say that? That's our question. Yeah, that's why did you think we need assistance? Did you what is that? my job? You're a public servant. Exactly. But, My job is but you don't walk. But you don't walk up to every single person on the street asking if they need your assistance. I go around to several people asking if they need assistance. That, that's the weirdest way to police I've ever heard of. I've never heard of that. So when you see someone who looks like they are possibly lost or having a medical emergency or maybe disoriented or looking for information about something or so, maybe a tourist. What about us says we're any of that? You're recording something. But what, how does that make us lost or a tourist? Because maybe you're a tourist. Maybe you're unfamiliar with the area. That's... <laughs> so if I'm asking you, do you have any questions? What is an un... What's, I don't understand what you're questioning that question for. Well, if I'm a public service... Your condescending attitude from the very beginning is everything that... You know, is, is wrong with the. I mean, even this interaction. Okay, can we turn the camera and point it at you guys? 
I, I've already shown my face multiple times. Your face is not shown. You're wearing a mask. Yes. I've put on my covers. best smile for yes. you today. Uh, What's wrong so, with privacy? Is it wrong? So is it illegal for me to create my own privacy? No, I'm, I'm right. asking. So I'm, I'm questioning the second or double standard that's happening here. What do you mean? What's the I've been nothing but cordial to you, to everybody. So, so again, you're interrupting me. Are you not recording me right there? Or on your chest right there? Yes. Okay, so what double standard? Time. Yeah. So again, my what double standard? Okay, we're jumping from topic to topic to topic. I really not. I'm asking we are. what double standard you're talking about. So I didn't get to finish my first statement. Oh, I'm sorry. Please finish. Okay, so you going back to your whole thing about mm -hmm. I was being rude and disrespectful. Condescending. Oh, okay, condescending. Right. We'll use your word. I actually had stopped because my job as a public servant, which is what I'm paid to do, mm -hmm. is to offer services. Okay. You guys are standing, you're recording. It's actually to uphold the law. Okay. That's your job, to uphold the law. You're a police officer, you're in, to uphold the, the law. Okay, I think we're done here because- No, I got another question. You said we can't record in here? What makes you think I'm gonna that? go. You guys go ahead and fill out the forms. That's when you what finish the complaint's going to be about. about you the can... fact that you don't know that. Well, we no, we're going to bring it back. Oh. So you can bring it back. Right. You can fax it, mail it, drop it off at the station. No, no, we're definitely going to bring it back. Whatever you want right. to do, you can drop it off. When you drop it off, they'll let you know what the outcome of it is, okay? Uh-huh. Okay, you guys have a great day. But is there a reason you said that we can't film in a public lobby of a police station? Because can you answer that? Because there was a woman that was giving her personal information and you were recording it. I wasn't recording her at all. Just because, just because she's okay. in the room doesn't make what I'm doing unlawful. Okay. But your directive was unlawful. Your directive was unlawful. We got a whole private room, but we can't record it. We are allowed to film our public servants in their courses of duty in a public office. So we're waiting for the the button, the ringer. I'm not sure which one of you is having an app. It might have been. We essentially all need one. Okay. Public records request. You want to phone? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. All yeah. right. Thank you. Does anybody else want to? Um, uh, for now, just hand them to him. I'll fill mine out in a minute. Damn, this is actually more detailed than most. So my son's filling out his first public records request. Public records request. The uh, person that intakes these requests is the clerk? Yeah, it's me. Oh, you're the clerk? Yeah. Okay, perfect. We just want to make sure we can get a stamped. Yo, you, want to, you want me to stamp it for you? Yeah, if we can get a copy of yeah, that no too. Problem. So. All yours, all right. So I think that's it. Make sure you want to send there. Okay. Let me uh, stamp it really quick. Did you want to make another one? Uh, not yet. Okay. Thank you. So what'd you ask for? I asked for a written policy of filming on public spaces like the, the city hall, police station, all that. Perfect. All right, guys, we are headed over here to the public library and make sure they respect our right to film in public. <laughs> That bowl almost looks dangerous. Like, <laughs> all right, guys, we got the book drop. We have some library benches and a bike rack, and it looks like we have one of those kick door opener things, so you can do this with it. So that's cool. Holy, nice. Cool tree though. Yeah, a couple little paper mache tree. That's cool. Sir, I don't want to dance with you. Oh, you don't? Yeah. Like your mask. All right. 
<laughs> you, you didn't see that? No, it was in circles with me. for a minute well that's kind of cool they cover the desk and book pages cool or destructive however you want to look at it I got a computer area You're you're misinformed, sir. No, I'm a photographer. Okay, but you're you're misinformed. No, I know the rules. I'm a photographer. And you don't think you don't think we know the rules? Ignorance. This is what we do full time. Ignorance. Thank you. Appreciate it. At least most of the books here, uh, shelves appear to be full, so that's nice. Yep, you're allowed to do that. So you dropped your thing. I mean, that's kind of strange, but no, that's not strange. I like when. He's taking pictures of us with a really big camera. <laughs> oh, he's a photographer. So you don't need a permit. Yes, you do. Do you want to have the conversation or not? Sir, you don't need a permit. Yes, you do. Get your goddamn cameras away from me. Explain why you need a permit. I'll have the conversation. Not in public. You don't need a permit. So I wanted to learn from him. Um, he didn't want to have the conversation. This, right this is actually a dangerous thing to have sticking up. So well, they, they could, just left. No, but somebody could trip on it. <laughs> See, we even help out when we're at the library. This is great. Yeah. So there's multiple people here with masks on, and nobody's complaining about them right now. So the uh, other gentleman left that was taking pictures of us. Um, which is fine, he could do it. I just, you know, he was yelling at us about permits and I wanted to ask him, a, you know, tell us about him. You know, have the conversation. Yeah. It's actually really nice. Ooh, they got nice glue. Yes. Yeah. 
That's nice. That's cool. Oh, good glow. Yeah, that's nice. I like this little area right here. So this gentleman right here has a hat and mask and glasses on and nobody's accosting him over it. If you guys haven't given Long Beach Observer here a, a subscribe, make sure to do that. Please do. Like some of his videos and give him some comments. Please do. This is a beautiful library though. Oh, we can go in the bookstore too. Is that where you got? No, I doubt it. I'm just taking this a video. Why? Huh? Why? What do you mean? I'm asking you why. Oh, we've never uh, been here. We don't disclose that, but. Well, then, like, yeah, you're in here. Why are you taking a video? Because. We have four of you. I'd like to know what's going on. Yeah, we don't disclose that while we're working. Well, you need to discuss it. I need to? Sorry? Well, you're not owed an explanation. Sir, we're not. I want to know why you're here. You're not going to know. Oh, I see. Do you work here? Yeah, I do work here. Okay. Want us to dial 911 because I don't like you here and I don't want to be filmed. And in order to film people, you have to have authorization. That's actually not true. Me. If you want to go talk to the librarian, she'll explain to you. Yeah, well, yeah I will. Like Thank you. Library, you don't need to know. Let's let's go, let's go, let's go. Well, there's no there's no restrictions on that. You too. There's no restrictions on that. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, you wouldn't have been any of those boys that were beating up those people down there on the beach when Trump yeah. was running for president, was it? Hey, what? What are you talking about? I'm just asking you a question. Hey, that's a weird Why question to ask. No, because they were dressed in black. Like you. Really? Because so there's can't... people over there dressed in black. Are you going to go ask them about it, too? What is that? First kind of atheist I've seen you guys before somewhere. I just really? can't remember where. I've never yeah. seen you before. I've never seen you. Are you sure it wasn't someone else? Oh, maybe it was someone else. Or are you just generalizing? No. Okay. There was a voice before. Oh, you have not. Voice. I have never spoken to you. No. I've spoken to you now. No. Well, remember his voice. Yeah. Of course not. Oh, it's a little weird that y'all walk in here with the masks on. Yeah. And okay, masks hold on, hold on, hold on. On that I note, I don't, I don't like it. Get out of my on face. On that note, there's Get four people in the library right now also man, wearing masks you're not and glasses. Are you afraid me to leave me alone? Not in I don't face, want you man. here. I don't go, want you go filming film the, me. I'm not. You guys are assholes. I'm filming the library. Go away. We're filming the library. No, but I'm a public person and I don't know. I don't want to see you. As a public employee, you shouldn't be calling people assholes. Well, you need to get out of my face. Who the hell are you? Yeah. Well, that's none of your business. Yeah, it is my business. It is my business. Who are you people? Why don't you identify yourselves? I'm not going to do that. Tell us who you are and why you're here. We don't have to, ma'am. Well, then Maybe I don't you have don't to have to, but we'd like to. Know. I'm not going to share that with you. Then take your damn mask off. No, you're going to tell all the patrons in there who are wearing masks, hat, yeah. and glasses. Yeah. Four of you guys then go tell them with glasses. cameras and masks. Is a little intimidating. Then go tell. Where you then go be. tell all the. What do you mean where you shouldn't, be? You you shouldn't, you shouldn't be? This is public. Said, if you just said that we can't have masks, I don't glasses, care. It doesn't hats, take four people in a little space running customers away. How am I running? No, there hasn't been one customer. There hasn't been a customer here to run away. Who are you? I'm not sharing that with you. Yeah, that's right. I'd show you my ID, but you won't show me yours. Because I don't have to. wrong with that picture? No, because you don't have to. And this is America. You're not a law enforcement officer. How do you think you're going to identify me? Do you know the Just law enforcement officer can't even volunteer? Nobody. Okay. But a volunteer is cussing out the public? Oh, you you know. Know. Yeah, she called, she called us assholes. You call them assholes cussing. What's that? You're a public employee, you call them an asshole? No, they're public volunteers, but... Or he's an employee. Oh, you're a volunteer. That makes sense. 
Are you above me? Somehow? But when we but when we submit this video, it's not going to go well for you guys volunteering oh, here. Oh wow! There's kids in this library, and you I'm guys are so you guys have been using profanity. I'm the only one here. Oh, you're scaring me. Right. I'll tell you. You are. You're scaring me. You're I don't scaring like me. it. How? I feel very intimidated by people with masks. I don't know what you have. Really? Because there's ten other people in there with you masks. Have, They're wearing you have, for different reasons. Like guns. There was. You, you, you haven't. You, you have haven't asked weapons especially. that you're going to cost me. Do you want to rob us? What? Now we have weapons. Considering. We considering the people that are wearing masks in there, Mr. You're not here. Hold on, the ones that are in there wearing masks, they they came in the library with backpacks. I don't have to. Well, had you not yelled at us the second we came in? I don't. I don't want to be filmed. Why do I have to be? You don't have that choice if you're going to volunteer in public. You're going to get filmed. You work for the people. Keep going. The people in this great city. I will. Is this going on Facebook Live? I'll submit my video. You submit yours. I don't know what Why do I have to have a religious affiliation? I don't know what your shirt says. I don't know. Who the, that, this are. says anything that you're I'm religious? Me. You what? How? You're scaring me. Look get at your face. business done and get the Look at the out mask you have on. It's scary. Get, the what? get your business done and get I'm out of here. Oh, that's not what he said. I'm an old lady and I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't, you're making me very nervous. My hands are shaking and I don't. I, Miss, you can go. I feel you can very go. Scared. Literally, this very entire very time, sad. we've been nothing yeah, but polite, you know, and you've been cussing us out the entire I time on video. You. Yes, you did. Like, you've called us a holes. You've called. Yeah, you absolutely have. One like time, to say, I said, please don't film room. me. No, that, please don't. But there's no need I've to be calling people nicely. names when we came in here just to film whatever um, you guys have in the library. You're just wanting to make controversy. I got nothing. Not at all. Man, you're yeah, the you one do. making controversy. We didn't even approach you. We didn't even yeah, talk you to go. you. We you started accosting us. So sorry that you guys are offended, but I am offended. And do you realize it's you were filming easy. us before I even came in here filming? Is this a school I'm, project? No, no, not I at all. I don't know what they're doing. Is this a public video tape? And they personal. We're not going to disclose that while we're working. I, I'm sorry, Mike. We're not going to disclose that while we're working. Then I don't see any reason why anybody needs to disclose anything to you. It's it's an equal. What do you mean? I haven't asked her for anything. What are you talking about? Good, 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 good. What did we ask, good, good. Did we ask for? Okay. I didn't ask you a question. Okay, but then why so are you trying I, to issue an, a directive of some sort? I saying actually that, think that what you're doing is a tactic where you never address anything. By constantly asking another question that has to be refuted. What are you talking observed. about? Now we all you just answer? that. We're what, talking what, about just no, what, that. No, what question did I ask of her that needs to be refuted? No, no refuted. But it either has to be addressed or refuted. And there's an option this. in there that you seem to have willfully let really off. Afraid. And when you address people, people with masks on, people who are afraid don't care. There are. Is, it is Hold on. scary to some people. Please. Okay. So the librarians that are wearing masks are scaring people? Yeah. They don't have glasses on? Okay. Not so you have masks. four you have four patrons in there right now with masks, glasses and hats on and they're scaring people? Okay. You're scaring me. I have we didn't even talk to you guys. You guys started accosting us and calling us names. We didn't even address you. Okay. I, I'm not sure what's happening, but I came in because of the noise. You guys are because she's screaming at us. We have no idea what's going on. I I, I refute that. I refute. Okay, I have it all on video. Listen to what she's saying. Okay, ma'am. Listen to what she's saying. Hold on, guys. Everybody, just stop for a second. Why should we take direction from you, sir? Okay, because I want her to listen. She wants. Okay, all right. But by the same token that you're using, and we're the ones creating the disturbance, and we're the ones creating the disturbance. That does not offend anybody or does not show any aggression towards anybody. That's all. Everybody else. Such yeah, as yeah, myself as long as it's has the right talking, to fine. ramble on and on and on and on and on, yeah, whether it's cumbersome right. to you no, or not. Just all so we down. will do that. Just a bit. No, I don't think. Am I being too loud for loud? Because if I, no. I will tone it down. No, just let her answer it's the okay. question. Just overall, the volume. We could just hear everything in the lobby. So just tone it down, sir. Yeah, that's one. You guys are welcome to film in here. We're a public space. That's not the issue, but we do have a code of conduct. Yeah. And if anyone feels unsafe because they feel like they're being harassed mm -hmm. or threatened, okay, but I have, I have no, no, but I have on video that we haven't harassed or threatened anybody. And number one, I she hold on, okay, hold on. I ask them, please. Let me finish. Don't this is the problem we've been having. I don't like it. Show a little respect. I am. I, how am I not being respectful? But just so you understand, That's how you're being because she interrupted me. Are you kidding me? She didn't address you, sir. I'm addressing her, and she interrupted her. She addressed this lady yeah, first. Yeah, interrupting me in the process. No, no, no. First. What's the finger? Why were you pointing? First. 
Regardless. Regardless. Okay, I have on video. Before we even came in here, she's videoing us. And as soon as we get right here, she's calling us a holes. So if that's how you guys treat the public and you just call random people a holes, you guys got some addressing to do, and it has nothing to do with us. We've been nothing. We are watching our language. We've been nothing but cordial. You've witnessed it in there. We're nothing but cordial to everybody. We're smiling with people. Someone wanted to take a smiling? picture of us. We have no idea. Smiling. I have my biggest smile on right we now. What do you know about? Okay, regardless. You had, you had an, um, oh uh, what's that called? Um, you made it uh, to do to an assertion that nobody can verify. So we don't know what, what you mean? you're doing. You said you were smiling. Right here. No, no, it's that's a really ass. giant smile. That's, that's not a smile. She's that's trying really hard not to laugh at that. Show me your smile. Okay, so like I said, we're not here to bother anybody. I do not want to engage with her, but she needs to stop. Just She's been accosting us since I walked in here and calling us a-holes and everything else. So if she can chill, we would have been out of here already. I just wanted... We're showing... Part of the story that we're doing is showing the app, like the amount of book space that is not being utilized or missing books or whatever. In that live, in, in the main library, it's great. And here, I just wanted to see how the donations are going. It's not a big deal. Like, and now she's calling nine one one, and we haven't even done anything. We've been standing here, and she's saying her They're trying to make money off of this. Yes. Please don't. That's right. And you guys are in. Yeah, okay. You guys are incorrect in public. And I'm 70 and I'm an old lady. And oh, so I'm, I'm, I'm shaking. I'm just my stomach. People that want to come in here and shop, would you please leave? No, no, they can. They have the right to be here. Hey, guys, we haven't. We're not making the disturbance. You guys are. You guys are fire starting everybody for no reason. It's just the overall everything, all the noise. Yeah. Just but ma'am, has it come from us? Okay, she says it's the noise. Let's just but as it, it's just not I, talk from us. If she says it's okay. the noise, let's not talk. Let's not be yeah. the reason. I have no problem. I'll tone it down. She's already on the phone with the police. I will tone it down, but you got to remember like, I have on video that they're the ones yelling. We haven't yelled at anybody. I haven't called anybody at. I haven't called anybody an a-hole. That's part of yelling. She was yelling at us the entire time. What do you define as yelling? What do you mean? What do you define as yelling? Anything that brought her here because she can hear all of you guys screaming at us. I didn't think she said it was yelling. I thought she said it was loud. Okay, regardless. It's not the same as yelling. But we weren't the ones talking and engaging with you. You guys were engaging with us. It's the same volume by my hearing. It's just so my hearing isn't everything. But you guys have a volunteer here who cusses out the public on video, which is great. If you have it, fine, but I didn't. I absolutely have it on video. He's trying to get our fingerprints, dude. You are freaking crazy, man. You said get their fingerprints. Go ahead, ma'am. Go ahead, ma'am. I'll. I'll Ma'am, what do you want at, from me? The mask that you have on and your sunglasses this is my best smile, even my wife said. Okay, so you have other people in there with masks, glasses, and hats on, and nobody's accosting them. None of them are filming. So it has nothing to do with the masks, then. So be honest. Yeah. No, no, and I get that, yeah. but we would have been gone. Wow. Hey, he just said we pushed them. He just said we pushed them because we don't like them. He's what? lying to the police. We it's pushed him? We have video. There's no better witness than a camera. Wow. He just said we pushed them. There's no better witness than a camera. That's toning down. I'll tone him down. That's just in the sand. So it's a nonprofit organization who supports the library. They're not libraries. No, no. Have, so, and I get that. And that's usually it's what like we. Talking to an animal. Talking to an animal. Okay. Really. Normally, when we come. In, so, normally, you. if you watch any of our videos, normally when we come into the, the part where they get donations and they sell the books, the whoever's in here usually has a nice conversation, explains what we do, explains, you know, how long they've been here, blah, blah, blah. And then we leave. We're done. We walked into a situation where we're already getting filmed. We're getting called a holes. Like, how is that? Anything has to do with us. You know what I mean? It, we weren't even in the room, and she was already accosting us and filming from here. She was standing right here, filming us through there. After you had walked through here. It doesn't matter. I walked through, and I was done. I did. I, I got the video I needed. I, okay. It's all on video. Obviously, if you were done, you would have been gone by now. It, well, we you guys have kept us here. What are you we talking about? And left. We walked out and left. Did you just and accuse us of detaining you? 
So just at the yeah, moment he's blocking he's the doorway so regardless. Number number it's, number, it's, number no, one. I'm, I'm just I'm just killing time to hang out because <laughs> for whatever the reasons, motivations, or rights you have are, uh, sorry, you're here no, and this is a little unusual. It's not usual. Okay, it can be it's unusual, but why not ask questions and be polite and engaging, I and then we're done. I thought I was just trying to do. That. No, not at all. You've been very condescending since this we. This is last time. Yeah. This is hostility. Yeah, you're not going to tell me what hostility is. You're making me feel hostile. Right? But you're going to define to me what hostility is and refute what I, I say so hostility yeah, is. I am. See, classes. then this I, I think that's hostile. He read a book. And I think that's hostile. You can no, I'm you just want, hanging sir. out because I don't know what's going on here, but I get the sense that this lady was a little bit apprehensive. Sir, can I ask you a question? And this, hey. not yet, because I'm not finished well, talking. What's the issue? This Let lady came in and Hello. said what was going on. Please do. And I thought that just the presence of a witness mm -hmm. that would be here to witness both sides mm -hmm. of the story of would just be a nice neutral foundation to base everything on. And since we all have the right to be here, mm -hmm. that's what I'm thinking. We can't really, really be a witness because it happened when you weren't here. Yeah. So, so, so everything and, that I've witnessed since I've been here, oh, since I've been a witness oh, hey. to. And, I and that's fine, but the camera, the camera defeats all witnesses, by the way. Lady. And all witnesses is fine. And the no, but the the, the camera defeats it, it defeats all witnesses, regardless. So no, this actually, tells everything that happens. Things can be edited okay. and things can except, be shown neutrally. neutrally. Except we're showing the we entire video from the. We don't know what's going to happen. We've shown the entire interaction from the moment we got here till now. And when the police get here, they're going to review I the entire didn't interaction. I didn't have entire okay. interaction. So there's nothing to edit. And then there will be also people to say when my witness started and when my witness finished. Mm -hmm. And it's a fast and fire. I'm going to block the door. I'm just saying. I'm not blocking the He's door. He's not blocking yeah, the door. You're in the, the walkway. Please get out of the walkway, sir. It's a fire hazard. Yeah, I'll stand right I can't here. walk through unobstructed, so you are blocking the door. I, I haven't witnessed such an action. You don't witness this blocking of the door right here? No, I see an oh, open okay. passageway. He's blind. I, I'm blind? I have glasses, so maybe. Oh, he, there he is. Maybe. I'm, he said maybe. So maybe he is blind. Not a single person has been denied access or egress by standing here. Yeah, I'll add this to that two guys, okay? So, like I said before, you're going to have your banner. Let's go. Come on, have your banner. Banner. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be glad to join you guys. What are you talking about, banner? I, I don't know if you guys have ever been fingerprinted or booked for anything, and I don't even know if you have guys you? were any of the guys that have were you? Have you? Stop asking that question. Oh, yeah. It's so weird. Oh, yeah. Nobody is getting our fingerprints. Yeah, I've never that that That's not happening to me, sir. It's just I, a weird thing to say. That's so no, weird. it isn't. Yeah, yeah. Not at all. No. This guy's going to jail. I'm well aware. You come in here and you can't explain your intentions. You know what I mean? Public library. What you go to jail for? We can explain. Then we just won't to people who are acting like you. I'm not acting like anything. Yeah, Alex, we're done. Oh, Except really? Calling us assholes. Trying to keep this place preserved for the people. I don't know that that gentleman ever said that. Because you weren't here, bud. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That's you didn't witness that, reason. buddy. They both have. Actually, you weren't here, on, buddy. They you both have here. on camera. Yeah. That's why you didn't witness then, it. Then, then, okay. Then, so then, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Well, we all just came in. This is intimidation. We haven't intimidated anybody. We're standing in one Yeah, spot. you are. Okay. Standing okay. here with four cameras and masks, it's intimidating. Oh, very scary. Sir, you have masked I men. I here with the yeah, that's so you have, scary. Hold on. You have so masked scary. men and women that are in the library. Up the same old crap. We know but you are. There isn't. And you're, and you're holding the camera, so how are you not intimidating me? Uh, I'm not wearing masks for another reason entirely. Regardless, so am I. How do you know my reason? Sunglasses. How do you know my reason? Making it intentional that you don't want to be identified. What's their okay, that yeah, seems weird. There? What's their reason? But anyways, I'm done with this circus in here. I'm gonna go out there. What's their reason for wearing a mask, sir? What's their reason for wearing a mask? By entering this area, you are consenting to your voice, your name, your likeness being used without compensation. Specifically, wave claims to any payment royalties in connection with the use of photo, audio, video. Yeah. So, so just be already know. You guys look like terrorists. You look like a, uh, <laughs> you look like you're on your way to work. Is that a glass huh? Coke bottle? Or glass Coke can? You guys, oh, you guys look cool. Hey, thank oh, you, brother. Right on, God prefers kind, atheist over hateful Christians. Right on. Right on. <laughs> I appreciate love God. it. God saved my life. Yeah. Hey, that's alive. Oh yeah, that's I good. That's amazing, bro. Yeah, you saved my life. Yeah, I believe it. I heard the voice. The voice. You know what the voice said? And I had the snake that bit me. And the voice said, 
you're dead right now, but you're gonna live. So nice. It, it was a. Uh, uh, nice. It was. Uh, it was What's a cobra. How you guys doing? doing? Yeah. yeah. It was a cobra. Really? And, and it bit me. Oh, I was spitting all the venom. How you doing? Oh, which one are you? What uh, happened? Which, which one of you are, are speak for this group? Well, we all speak for ourselves. I was going to say we're all independent. Okay. What's up? Are you Are you guys related? or? or I no, not really. Guys, so. But what's up? Do you have we a got question? Call here. Oh, really? hey, yeah. We didn't yeah, call we got, you. So, no, I know. You know that. Oh, okay. you should go talk to whoever called you. Yeah, that's what he's doing. All right. Cool. Okay, but I just want to talk to one of you. That's fine. I'll... Okay, those are you? Yep. Okay. What's up? Yeah, well, we're going to find out. Okay. Then. All right. Because we had call, we had call. Obviously, yeah. we got to show up, right? All right. Okay. Well. All right. Yeah, to, to you, sir. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I'll let this lady out. Probably. Uh, this public area. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't engage, man. place and they're allowed to film. I totally understand with you. Ma'am, you can't claim scared if you're the entire time you're cussing us out, calling us names, like that's not scared. That's aggressive. Do you have any questions or do you work here? You're well aware. Okay. Sounds good. Alright. Well thank you ma'am. How's it going sir? Can I help you, sir? Here. Can I help you? Why are you filming me? I'm filming everybody. What, what is this? Out, what happened? What is this outfit? What do you mean? There's your, your, several other people in here wearing no, 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 this outfit. Your glasses and the yeah, mask. There's somebody over there sitting with glasses and masks. Why don't you go ask him why he's wearing his? I'm just saying, like, if you're going to ask me, you got to ask them, too. Guys, bring it on, bring it on. All right, you said bring it on in? All right, huddle. Yeah, bring it on in. <laughs> we're, we're all together. We're all together right. as a family. All right. Sir, can, you, can you use a little privacy, please? Well, you know, I'm just, well, I know. I'm just curious. What is this all about? I know, but I got to let me talk to Louie. I'll talk One to you, One thing at a time, come over so we'll come over. This all right. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk. Okay. So, all, all right, I like the huddle. What's up? Okay, cool. All right, so you guys, obviously, we got a lot of... Old folks here. No, no, I get so here in my experience, the old folks have been nothing but pleasant with us for the most part. We had one fire starter, and that was the lady that volunteers in here. She was literally filming us before we even went in here, and then called us a bunch of a holes and stuff as we we're walking through. We were gonna do we, we do a walk through, and then we come out, and that's it. Okay. It would have been done. But, but she's guys, in there calling us a holes. The other guys telling us, oh, we need to get fingerprinted and all this I, other. I want you guys to, yeah. to look. Can you guys see a reflection in that glass? Can I see a reflection? Can you guys see yourselves? Oh, I want you guys to let's all stand in front of Okay, hold on, hold on. I, I, on that note, yeah, hold on. Let me talk. But hold on. If you walk Judge in there now. right now, if you go in there right now, mm -hmm. there's three patrons there. wearing a black mask, sunglasses, and hats prior to us arriving here. And they're in there still. So if you want, you can walk around and find them wearing the same outfits. You're talking about that see something, say something stuff, right? No. And this is just an expression. Sure, I wear these every day. This is every day of my life. I said about one sentence. Yeah. Okay, sorry. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> I just kind of knew where you were going. Of course. I apologize. Right. Okay. All right. So, I'm just, I'm just responding to calls, guys. Absolutely. Right? I know you're, and you've been professional right. when doing so. So, when we respond to guys, in my experience with anything in mm -hmm. life, if your appearance means something. Okay. How I, if I come up mean to you, like if I came up all flexing yep. right now, and I came up all aggressive, yep. all puffed up, right? Seventy percent of communication is done with what? Uh, body language. Body language. All right. How you communicate, the way you dress, the mask you wear, yep. your glasses, the beanies. I put on my best face being for you guys all today. Being guys, being big guys, being young guys, being old guys. They're, they're being guys in cop in uniforms. They're tiny. I'm not. I know. <laughs> hey, but you're young. You're strong. You're healthy. Okay. And that, and compared to like an elderly folk or maybe a Do I qualify female, as an elderly folk? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't right. seen your face. <laughs> okay. Especially 
Um, right now in Orange County, we've had a big problem with 211s, robberies, okay. groups coming in here, home invasions. Yeah. We've had this all. That's all right. everywhere. It's not just Orange County. but I yeah. know, but I'm just saying I can only speak for Orange County. Yeah. All right? It's everywhere. Yeah. So people are on edge. Mm -hmm. All right? You come in, black mask. You're gonna set some people off. That's why I don't wear a black one. I wear I, I I wear my best smile for you guys today. I know. All right. Okay, but just know I'm telling you. You know, you're intimidating. Okay. Well, that's not how. So I don't feel like I'm intimidating people. So when we do this, most of the people in there were not intimidated. They waved at us. We got a bunch of little people like do the photo bombing mm -hmm. and things like that. It was great. They come up, ask us what we're doing. We have a cordial conversation, just like I'm having with you. Okay. I have no problem explaining everything. So it's 5%, less than 5% of the people that seem to have an issue with it and take it to the extreme and throw a fit and a tantrum like this gentleman and the lady in there. Absolutely threw tantrums. Absolutely started cussing us out. We've been nothing but cordial to everybody. I got video from the very start of when I got here. I haven't stopped it. We're at 29 minutes and 12 seconds right now. Um, I haven't stopped the video for anything. And I, we've been nothing but cordial. We've had great conversations with the staff here, very professional. I had great conversations with a couple of patrons that wanted to be on camera. They came up, asked us some questions. Great. That's perfect. And then we have these two volunteer guys that just lost their goddamn minds on our way out, which well, we, is... As we all know, it's only that 10% that ruin it for everyone. Yeah. So but you can't say that I'm that intimidating 5%. if 90% of the people aren't intimidated. I'm just speaking on my experience of I, dealing I get it. with people for I get 20 it. years. But I've been, this you guys is, look but this is what I do full time. This is all, all I right. do. All right. In my experience, 95% of people either leave us alone, don't engage us, or come up and ask us questions, have no problem with any of this. Right. They, they laugh about us. They'll jump in like we'll be at the you, post office. Like we go in the post office, are, they'll come in and be like, ah, and they do that. You are free to roam. So no I don't find this trouble. intimidating. If 5% of people find it intimidating, then that's an issue with that 5%. And it's just like, okay, let's, let's go back a few decades when people used to be intimidated by the color of people's skin crossing the street. You know, someone over here with the, the, that's not white, you know, crossing the street, and all of a sudden you're intimidated by that. Is that that man's fault, or is that the person that feels intimidated's fault? You know what I mean? We're, we're talking about so, a lot. Of Whose no, fault no. is it? Again, it, it, at the end of the day, it's all just perception. It's, it's your perception. It's my perception. It's his perception. We're all going to perceive things very different, aren't we? Right. Based on our experiences. You guys are in law enforcement. You guys have wildly different experiences than I have. And I understand that, mm -hmm. which is why I've been nothing but cordial with you guys coming in. I've been nothing like, and I always am. I, we have, we're not an anti-law enforcement platform at all. Mm -hmm. um, we have tons of law. Like I've actually, we, we've done written accommodations that my attorney drafted several times for uh, law enforcement that we've run into. Just like we do complaints on occasion, less complaints. We actually do more, more accommodations and recommendations than anything else. But um, I enjoy doing that. I love having the opportunity to say, hey, you know what? This law enforcement agency is doing a wonderful job. And I have, you know, I, I actually dislike the ones where I have to engage in a really bad situation because, well, you know, to you. I, I'm because you say, like no matter what way we look at it, the way you see it, you can take away my freedoms and my rights in a split second where I can't do that to you. You know what I mean? So it's like. You guys are going to perceive us in a way that, like, oh, man, you guys are intimidating, you guys are threatening, or whatever. I don't perceive us that way. Okay. So okay. Well, I'm just here to talk to you. Guys. Yeah. Okay. No, and you've been, I mean, I and you guys could, have been great. I, I wish I could hang out all day. <laughs> <laughs> you but, should one day. Hey, we, we don't get these. Hey, out. So it's, it's hey, for us. You know what's fun? So you guys have a Sergeant Pratt, Platt, Platt. She was horrific, by the way. She, she, we're actually oh. file, we're going to file some complaints because she just did not respond well with us at all. Uh, Am I responding twice? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you guys, yeah, you guys have been excellent. You guys have been excellent. Like I said, most most departments are really great, especially with yeah. <laughs> especially with what we do. But when the leadership is not great, that starts to trickle down to the people that aren't leadership yet, I agree and that you. sucks. I agree and with so a, a leader like her going off and being condescending and just you know there wasn't a positive moment of the conversation versus the one we're having now with you guys so has been excellent. Like, you know what, the, the like, like you guys need more stripes, all of you guys. You guys, you guys, you guys are doing. No way. Like, well, that's more work. <laughs> yeah, please, please. Oh, that, that, I like going home by the end of the day. But okay. So I would like to say so. But uh, if I could, before you guys disappear on us, I need the CAD. 
because you guys got a call with one of the gentlemen was claiming we had pushed him, which didn't happen. And so I want to get I want to get a copy of the. We're not taking a report. But I still want the call yeah, yeah, ID. Sure. Yeah, I got you. If I get the call yeah, ID, yeah. that'd be wonderful. I actually wanted to ask. I see the SWAT thing. Are you part of SWAT? I am. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. And you're also a field training officer. I sure. Am. Perfect. Wonderful. Yeah. But why don't you have any stripes? Three way. Can I get the DR, please? Uh, you maybe need, one day. You need to get them stripes, <laughs> man. You like over there because. Even a slip sleeve is not bad at all. No, no, day, and I. You shut your lock, you go home on time. Absolutely, I get it, I get it, but that extra paycheck though. All about money, you know. Yeah, you know. As you get older, it becomes all about money. Don't lie. It becomes all about time. Yeah, that. Well, that too, but you need the money to get the time. That's in this world. Yeah, the guy that called the police, he said we pushed them. Who called? He's not even here. So he left. So the person that I talked with, the, the the lady inside, she was more so intimidated. She said that she was gonna have a panic attack. But th there's so this guy who we didn't. I the two people no, that I, the he two people that I talked with, no one said a thing about being left. pushed. Yeah. So no That's one's fine. saying anything. We're not gonna pursue it at all. No. That's and fine. then um, here as soon as we told him we got it all on video, he here. took off. Oh, <laughs> Just be careful because it smears. And it's at the bottom. Perfect. Thank you so much. I want to tell you guys, I appreciate. Yeah, you know, you young guys are, have like the tenacity and the courage to stand up for what you believe in. Your First Amendment right, your Second Amendment right, your Fourth Amendment right. I respect that. All right, and you know, and that's good to hear without, from somebody with a badge. Without people like you, we wouldn't have things like the Boston Tea Party. Yeah, yeah. right. How is it? Or we still be getting taxed. Like Jordan Washington, Washington. All right. He's yeah. proud of us right now. So, so I just I, I want to tell you one tidbit before that. you guys take off. So these two are actually my sons, okay. and I've adopted them. They are the reason I'm retired to this day. So they retired me four years ago because they run my other company, which we're now about to sell, and now they're about to be retired here. Um, but yeah, just to give us, you know, we're not we're not out here to be assholes and you know piss everybody off or intimidate people. We're out here doing what we do, exercising our rights and freedoms, while also reminding people that you're constantly being filmed in public. You're recording us now. Your cars are probably recording everything around them. Um, and then, if you want and expect or demand privacy in public, the onus is on each individual person to create that level of privacy that they want when they leave their house. Sure. And so. I don't walk around like this, but you. I absolutely will while I'm trying to teach people that. And if I ever if I ever leave my house one day and be like, you know what, I just I don't want anybody to know who I am today. Guess what? This is on me. It's not on you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it is what it is. Yeah. That's what we teach people. For sure. Okay, I respect it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you guys. Can for we, can we answer any other questions before we go? No, not at all. You all guys right, have guys. been awesome, actually. So yeah, I appreciate it. Hey guys, uh, great can I get names and badges from me? Uh, name is on that. From card. each of you. The badge number yeah. is on the card as well. On each of you? Yeah. Uh, just yeah. mine. So okay. I wrote down my my the incident number, and then I wrote my name right. down there as well. Perfect. Perfect. Just one is fine. I take them all. Oh, that's a cool little card holder. Yeah, man. Goes the present. Yeah, card. It's, it's, it says motor officer, but I'm... Um, you ride? Corporal. Uh, before, I was a motor officer. Um, before? Not anymore? Uh, no, because I had surgery. Thank you, brother. Game, so I couldn't. Oh, so, shit. Did you I did you crash, or...? It's just wear and tear. Okay. Yeah. I ride, so... Uh, yeah, Harley. Man, was, Harley's a different kind of bike, but... Yeah, it's, but it was just the wear and tear. Just wearing all this weight, helmet. Yeah, the shit. The You're making my neck hurt right now. Yeah. <laughs> neck's hurting right now. Fuck, that sucks, yeah. man. Um, but yeah, you know, we gotta do. do your stretches, you know, For sure. and yeah, man, yeah. take care of that neck because you're gonna need that later. Cool. All right. <laughs> you guys have a good one. Thank you guys you. have a good day. So professional. Yeah, man. Don't trust any of them. <laughs> Look at what they did to me. Oh, you know what? I woke up. I woke up in a bed in Orange County Jail, handcuffed to a bed. Sheesh. In my wrist and my ankles. I got the marks. Okay. Got the marks. See that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn, I still see that. Holy shit. To a bed. How long ago was that? And then they walked in and they, you, you know what they said? We're going to drown all of you. There's Jeez. a whole bunch of us in there. A whole bunch of us. They were all, they all had us in beds. Damn, how long ago was the... This is about over two years ago. Oh shit, and it's still yeah. scarred? That's I don't bad. Trust any of them. That is bad. And then they arrested me again in Costa Mesa for no, for, for no reason. Damn. And then they made me 
do a community service. So part of what we do here, exercising our rights and challenging to make sure that, you know, we challenge authority a little bit to yeah, make sure that them. they understand our rights. I'm glad you guys are around. So you if, guys you, hear that if story, you don't do this, story. if you don't do this, they run amok and they yeah. just do whatever they want. And nobody's you know, challenging them. And yeah. then all of a sudden they, you know, somebody doesn't know the rights, you know, they, they get taken, you know, yeah, and it sucks. The law. And, so. and you know what, they, they even, uh, it took then I went to Fountain Valley Hospital. I couldn't even walk. They beat the hell out of me. Mm. And then they then they must have called it in or something. They tried to kill me there. Sheesh. Because they, they I was in a bed and all of a sudden they, they stuck something in me and then I said, I don't want to die yet and I was out. Woke up and I left that place. Oh yeah. Fountain Valley Hospital, man. All right, yeah, brother. You guys should walk in there too. Yeah. <laughs> damn, damn. All right, brother. No, no, I appreciate it. That is the truth. I appreciate it. I don't trust any of them. Yeah. You have a good one. Me too. Should we do a little victory lap? I absolutely am. Every damn time. Let's do a victory lap. Right, I'm going to go ahead and do a little victory lap here. All right. Now we're going to finally do our walkthrough that we had wanted to do here. And kind of. So these books are the ones they have for sale, and the money goes gets raised to the library. And normally the person that's in here volunteering shares with us some details, but this one decided not to do that. Um, so we won't get any information or details from this one today. All right, guys, we're going to ask you to leave now because it is 4 o'clock. All right. Hey, that guy, that's all you got mad at us for filming the record. Running all over the library. They lost their kid for a second. Ooh. These guys, they lost their kid for a second. <laughs> We're gonna come back. I have, I have to ask. You guys look like, like uh, very good videographer terrorists. <laughs> All right, that's different. Oh wow, how's it going? How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Interesting. Okay, no, I mean, I don't. I think, I think uh, I like to hear your definition of an atheist. My definition of an atheist. Yes. Because so, your shirt says atheist. I'm actually, and by the way, I'm, I'm not against atheists. So, so I'm actually not atheist. I'm okay. agnostic. Okay. So okay. I just cool. non-believer. Very good. Do you have a higher power? Um, here, I'll hold this for a second. I'll show you my higher power. Uh -huh. Somewhere it's written right there. Oh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> all right. That is interesting. Yeah. So for, for me, it's uh, nature. I go up in the mountains. I was hiking today. My face is all red from not having So blood. I used to be pagan. Oh, I don't actually so, know what that means. It's very naturistic type oh, of religion, okay. yeah. Cool. Right it's so, the it's the religion that Christianity and all of them pretty much were sure, born sure, sure. from. Sure, sure, yeah. So. Yeah, humans made up these yeah. words and so on. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm curious, is there a website I can go to so I can see myself? So we don't share that, we don't share that while we're working. Okay, okay. Yeah. But anyway, very, very good to meet you. I love your authenticity. Thank you. And I wish we could want to hike together. That's where I do hey. better conversations. So. I, I would have loved that. Very good. Yeah, very good one. Thank you. Thank you. So if you guys represent a business like he did he has a name tag that is how it is done 110 percent right there hello how you doing so what are you guys out here so we usually don't say anything so oh, you have by to the way, so, I don't even care. so you I can't you I can't tell anybody though no no but we're here to catch a cheater yeah you guys. so Jesus, you don't need five cameras to catch a cheater. Oh, absolutely we do. We, all the different angles. So hopefully, hopefully it's not it confuses bad. them because one of the people here happened to be the person that hired us to do it. So I love it. I, love it. I used to do PI work. Oh, and, fun. Uh, and I used to do that line of work when I was like 21. 21. Fun. Yeah, fun. Absolutely fun. Uh, we hope you guys catch them. Yeah, absolutely. Or her. Yeah. Is it this guy? Maybe. I don't think so. It could be. So you guys aren't here at all for your shirts? For what? Whatever your shirts. 
shirt. Gotcha. I don't have a shirt. I just wear random shirts. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so, but I do believe this. <laughs> is this like a religious meeting or something? No, no, no. no this is a realtor bunch. A bunch of realtors and affiliates. So. Nice. So at the end of all of this, once we catch the cheater, you guys can sell me a house. Yeah. Perfect. You say that, you'll have. <laughs> This lady is mad. Oh, what's going on here? Wait, are you guys part of us? Huh? Are you part of us? No, no. no. Hey, don't film us. I don't want to be filmed. What's that? You're, don't film us. You're sitting out in public. We can film you. What? We can film you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Perfect! You can't film that. I thought we couldn't film each other. I know, but I don't feel comfortable if you're filming. Then why would you be outside? It doesn't matter. We're in a private event. I'll stand like this. Okay. Okay, you can look at my back. You can look at my back. Exercising our First Amendment right. No, no, you're doing nothing wrong. You're doing nothing wrong. You're just, you're just exercising their First Amendment right. There you go. Thank you. But no, you're doing nothing wrong. It's just creepy. Did you forget to wear green today? Is that why you got the necklace on? No, I got green shoes, bro. Uh, that's not it's turquoise. No, it's actually hometown green. Those are blue. That is turquoise. You got green on. Maybe you can join the party. Yeah, maybe. No, I haven't been invited. No, we don't allow weirdos. Oh, why am I weird? Well, you got a mask on. I that's put weird. my best face on for you today. I know, right? That maybe it's better this way. It is. Trust me. My wife said the same thing. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Do you guys need any, like, information? We're waiting for Taylor Swift. Oh, hell yeah. No, um, yeah, we're, we were sent here. Sent here? Yeah. Interesting. Since you're not the, so we're catching a cheater. But don't worry. Hey, you guys are keeping it down, though. You guys are doing it. So we actually, we actually just got us a, a vacant building that we're getting ready to set up a studio in. You need, to, yeah. If you need something designed, branded. Do you have an Instagram? Yeah. State it real quick so I can record it. I'm supposed to be public. You are showing your. You're doing best fine. Best. You're doing great. You're doing fine. I, I, if I could just get. That's our one job is to promote our business. If you just get away, which hey. You're doing great. So here's the thing. The platform that I'm on, everybody who promotes themselves gets a lot of attention. So, because their true face comes out. The you really don't trust us. He doesn't trust us because he hasn't really asked us any questions. He's, he's, he's just making judgments and fears. I, know. I, know. I have nothing to hide and nothing to prove. But if you just state your Instagram, we can actually message you. But my business is spatial expressions. Spatial expressions. It. Spatial expressions. Yeah, I'm gonna hide. So yeah, you'll how find much, it, you'll find all this stuff. How, rough, how much do you charge to come in and set one up if we've already done the room and the soundproofing and I I, I just quote it out depending on what out what all needs to get done. To Is, are we talking about lighting? Sometimes we have to No, we have, we have all of that taken tiles. care of. We just need the setup itself kind of wired in and I don't know. I kinda of started like twenty five hundred okay. to just do kind of like a consulting yeah. and basic general kind of design. That's not bad actually. Yeah, no, and then I'll I mean I'll tell you everything to shop for or I'd shop for it myself. Like I mean, we, we're easy. trying to find somebody to just do it all for us. Oh, is that Eric's bill? I can I can bring I can bring another one. I can bring another one. 
You, they're being misinformed. We don't need a waiver. Okay, so whatever, but we'll get, just want to get you up close. Up close? Yeah. I put my best face on for I you today. I know, we're going to, we'll share that on our social media. Absolutely. We'll share who you are. Okay, cool. Except you won't know who I am. Oh, well, we will. We'll figure it out. No, you won't. Yeah. Not even law enforcement can yeah. figure it out. Well, I, you know what? You're talking to the wrong person. I like her hair. Super He's taking a selfie with us. That have absolutely no cause. Just trying to figure out how to get people all spurred up for no reason. Only in America do these low lives get away with this crap for no reason. You're the low life. You anti-American freak. Thank you, brother. Even the workers yelling first amendment. Yeah, that was great. That guy came hella far just to talk crap about us with a selfie video. And the funniest part about all of it is the employee at the pub that we're doing it in front of told him, first amendment, bro, leave him alone. <laughs> Damn, and then to end rainbow on the way home, guys. Whee! Double rainbows end to end, guys. Thank you for watching Impact Media, your go-to educational channel for all things public filming. We hope you found our content informative and engaging. Remember, your support is crucial in spreading our message far and wide. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your friends and family. By doing so, you'll help us reach more people and make a positive impact in the world.